Hi, I'm Elle and I'm a horticulturist here at Limberlost Garden Centre. Hay is a great mulch for your garden because it's a good source of organic matter, it holds moisture and it breaks down and makes nutrients available for plants. Another great use for it is making hay bale gardens. The beauty of hay bale gardens is that you can put them pretty much anywhere. Um, they're inexpensive to make because you need very little resources. You can grow pretty much any herb and veggies in them and by the end of it you have this amazing composted product that you can then use in your garden. What you'll need to make your hay bale garden is a nice sunny spot because most of your herb and veg likes a full sun. A base, we've upcycled this old pallet for our base but you can use cardboard or weed matting, just anything to stop the weeds coming through. Um, hay bales, we've used two but you can use as little or as many as you like. And then we're gonna use two bags of Active Grow and some organic extra. So you wanna put your hay bales on the base and you wanna leave the strings on to make sure that it holds its shape. We're gonna start out by sprinkling a generous amount of organic extra. We use organic extra because it's our favorite here, but you can use any high nitrogen fertilizer it's important to start the decomposition process um, because then it breaks down the hay bales and makes the nutrients available to plants. Then you just want to water it in really well to spread all of that fertilizer into your hay bales. We're going to create a soil-like layer with our active grow. We're going to build it up to about 10 centimetres. So it's been about two weeks. We've moved this to its final spot. And as you can see, we've covered it with a layer of mulch, which we've just pulled from the side of the hay bale. That holds in the moisture and stops the active grow from falling off when you water it. I'll show you what's happening inside the hay bale garden. Because the hay bales are decomposing, there's a lot of heat being produced. It's quite hot to have my hand in here at the moment. So you don't want to be planting into this because it will burn the root system of your plants. It's a few weeks later and it's cooled down so that I can comfortably put my hand in there, which means that it's ready to plant in. We've picked a selection of plants um, that grow really well together. I always plant some flowers with mine to attract pollinators and beneficial insects to the garden. We're planting Marigolds, our rainbow chili, uh, some mint, strawberries to cascade down the sides, and some spring onions to fill the gaps. So in the middle we're planting our rainbow chili, which will grow up bigger than the marigolds and fill out. We're planting the mint and strawberries at the front so they can cascade down and we can pick the fruit and then we're just going to be using our little spring onions um, and a perennial coriander to fill in the gaps. Because this has had time to sit and decompose, it's going to be really easy to dig into. And when you're planting, remember that not all plants like to have their roots disturbed. So we're going to put our hand and just give it a light tap and plant it straight in.
going to be planting something a little bit different. This is perennial coriander. This is a great option in the tropics because it lasts all year round. Um, it smells the same as coriander, it tastes the same as coriander. You can grow normal coriander in the tropics, but it's a very short, limited season. Whereas this one you can have all year round and it's pretty hardy and easy to grow. And now we're just going to intersperse the spring onions to fill up some of these little gaps we've got. So we've planted it all out. Um, as you may have noticed, I've left a light layer of mulch that I've just moved around between the plants. We're going to water this one pretty thoroughly when we need to. Um, we have just had a lot of rain over the last week, so this is still pretty wet. Um, if it looks wet, leave it. If you can see it's starting to dry out, make sure you give it a thorough water so that it gets through to all of the plant's root systems. And so if you don't have a lot of space or you don't have a permanent garden bed, this is a great way to grow annual herbs and veggies. Come in and chat to us at Limberlost Garden Centre. We're always happy to help. <laughs>